Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at the 25th SOCAN Awards in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Stefan Mokio. How does it feel to be here at the SOCAN Awards? It feels great. It feels great to be back home, um, even though it's too short a trip, but uh, it's wonderful. How did being bilingual in French and English growing up influence your music? Great question. Um, it influenced uh, my music heavily because I was influenced by a lot of classical French composers like, you know, Debussy, Ravel. I mean, I've studied their music in a, in a huge way. Uh, and that bleeds into a lot of my pop writing. So, and then of course, in this country, uh, it, helped, it helped my piano, piano career as a pianist in a very big way because I was accepted with open arms by Quebec and, you know, by my native province, well, by my mom's side. But, um, so it, it played a huge role, absolutely. And when you were working on Wrecking Ball, did you ever imagine it to be such a huge success? I don't know. It, I, I, <laughs> it's such a tough question because we're here on the other side of, of, of this global phenomenon. And, 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 and it, it's hard. We, had, we knew we wrote something great, put it that way, and we knew that it was special. Um, but you never know where these things end up. Mind you, we were all fingers crossed that Miley was going to do it, and she did it in the biggest way possible. I mean, it's, it was amazing, and it still is amazing to be part of that ride. Well, thank you so much, and have a wonderful time this evening. Thank you, Katie. Thank you. <laughs>